Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome back to the second part of my Creating NPCs in Unturned series. So today I'm going to be going over how to create dialogues, and to start, uh, let's just open up our uh, new NPC assets. This is going to be pretty important because there's actually one thing, uh, Dialogue 3000, that we will be using when creating our dialogue. Alright, so if we go back to our bundles folder inside the unturned files, um, we're going to once again go into NPC, and there's actually a folder that is completely made for dialogues. So pretty much all the dialogues um, that your NPCs are going to be using will be in here. So uh, just like we made a new NPC uh, called new NPC, we're also going to create a uh, new folder in here called new NPC. And um, we're actually going to go inside there and create a few other things as well. To start us off, uh, we're actually going to create another folder within this folder called uh, new NPC underscore welcome. Now, the only reason um, I do the underscore welcome is because uh, that's generally what is used by other NPCs. Now, I'm not sure if there's a reason behind this but most of them have something underscore welcome and as you guys can see after the welcome one you get like a bunch of others and that's when you get to branch out a bit but just for starters we need to do the welcome uh, dialogue alright so in order to get a base uh, template sorta of for what we need I'm actually gonna take um, some of the files inside of survivor welcome because they are pretty simple so let's copy these two and we're gonna place these into our own NPC welcome file now uh, let's open both of these up and we'll have them in the uh, notepad plus plus over here and as you guys can see all that it takes to make a dialogue is you just need the asset dot dat file and the english dot dat file now if you guys don't know where to start or how to create one i would suggest copying uh, both of those from the survivor because this is all the survivor one has in it it's pretty uh, simple at this point and um, there's not much to it so let's start with creating our own. So really important parts here are the type, which needs to be dialogue in order for it to be a dialogue. Uh, don't change that, or make sure you have it if you're creating your own. Also, the ID is really important. And this is the part that we need to match this dialogue number over here. So 3000 needs to be our dialogue ID. And if you guys don't want to use 3000, just make sure it's a unique number that has not been used by other dialogues um, you know out of all the NPCs so make sure that that's unique and that's pretty much all you need to technically create your own dialogue now in order for it to do other things you will need to uh, have some of these options in here as well now at the very simplest level uh, all we really need to do to get some interaction with the character is to have uh, a certain amount of messages and a certain amount of responses now uh, messages space one pretty much tells us that there is going to be one message um, that the character will talk to us using and down here we actually have some parameters about the message uh, technically messages start at zero and responses start at zero so it's going to go zero one two three four it's sort of a coding thing uh, it's like that in a bunch of other coding sort of things as well so just know that when it says message zero that is actually the very first message and pretty much this just sets up that the first message is gonna have one page and pretty much what that means is that um, a page is a screen with text on it so if you had multiple pages which we, we will do that and we can try that out you'll actually have to press next to get to the next section of uh, text and you know when we test that you'll be able to see that pretty quickly as well also something that's really important as well is responses space one that pretty much just sets up that we have one response that we can actually respond to this one message so let us now go into the english.dat file this is going to actually contain a little more information about what is actually inside the messages and what is available for us to respond so inside the english.dat we have message zero which is actually the very first one and page zero so this pretty much says on the first page which is gonna be zero just remember that zero is always the first one so on the first page we have I'm very happy to be aboard so pretty much as soon as you talk to him you're gonna see I'm very happy to be aboard and you will have one response to that. Response zero, which is the first response, will be glad to hear it. 
Alright guys, so here we are in our test world, and uh, just before we do test the speech, I just want to have a follow-up from the last video I did where I was testing the equipped secondary. Um, I, as you guys can see, I did make him stand up, and I was using the command equipped secondary. Uh, actually, we can go check that out right here. You can see uh, he's not sitting down anymore. I actually got rid of that line and did equipped secondary. So, for some reason, um, it's not working. So I'm not sure why that is. Uh, it could just be something that is not available at the moment. So I saw a bunch of you guys' comments, and hopefully that answers our questions. So anyway, let's test out uh, what he actually says when talking to him. Now, as you guys can see, uh, when we press F to talk, uh, it says, I'm very happy to be aboard. As you guys can see, that is the default text we left in there for his uh, message zero. As you can see, it says, I'm very happy to be aboard. He said that exactly there. And we actually do have our two responses. We've got glad to hear it and our test response. So obviously, guys, as you create uh, your dialogue, you're going to want to make that applicable to what you'd actually want to reply to this. And as you guys can see, not much happens yet, as in when you press the response, uh, you pretty much just exit out. So it's pretty simple at this point, and there's not much to it. So let us exit out of this and get back into creating. All right, so just a quick note before we move on. Um, as I was searching through other examples of what the dialogue was like from the other characters, I noticed something pretty important, and that is that each dialogue pretty much only has one message. Now, I'm not sure how to implement more than one message, but um, pretty much you're just going to want to have one. And really, it's the responses that you have multiple replies to, and that's pretty much the more important one for you guys to customize. All right, another thing we should test is uh, the number of pages here. So let me add um, messages zero, pages two instead of one. And we actually do need to add another page of text here. So pretty much how you add another page of text, uh, it's pretty much the same thing as up here. Messages zero, page zero, I'm just gonna copy that and paste it there. We're just gonna do page one instead of zero and that should give us another page of text. And so we'll do uh, test text here as well so let us go test it out real quick and make sure that worked and then let us continue adding some more complex things to our dialogue all right so here you are in the test world again and we're pretty much just going to test uh if the two pages of dialogue actually worked and as you guys can see um we actually don't have a response quite yet we have to press f again and that'll get us to our second page of dialogue and as you guys can see we've got our test text here and that pretty much worked perfectly. So as you guys can see, it is actually pretty simple to set up uh, your two pages of messages. Uh, you just add message, page, and increment this number here, and add your text, as well as incrementing this number here. That is really important, otherwise it won't work. So anyway, let's move into some more complex things, and let's look at some other uh, options we have and make it a little better. All right, so there's only a few more things you guys really need to know um, about you know creating the initial dialogue and I'm not really gonna get very far into it but these are gonna be the rest of the things I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use so pretty much these all modify how the text is displayed so for example uh, if you have a BR in there it'll add a break if you have I and then you've got text in between and then you've got the closing of the I you actually have um, italicized I think B is bold we also have color. We can set certain colors in here. Um, also, color. I think you can use uh, hexadecimal as well. I mentioned that sort of uh, in the last video when it came to picking colors of skin and characters and stuff. Um, we probably can use hexadecimal here as well. So, pretty much uh, this one, it's pretty much color equals whatever color you want. Um, I'm hesitant to put color in there because it could be a little confusing, but there are also pre-made colors, including rare, common, uncommon, epic, legendary, and mythical. And these also relate to uh, item rarities as well. So, you know, if you want to have maybe a person's name or you want to, you know, sort of simulate that there's a, they're talking about a certain item, you can add these sort of uh, fields to them as well to make emphasize that word a little more. Also, we've got name char, and that will actually display your character's name, um, and that's that can be pretty useful depending on what type of dialogue. You also have name underscore NPC, and that'll display the NPC's name. Um, also, you have pause. This is the last one, and this adds a little bit of a pause uh, when they're actually sort of saying the text. So 
let us uh, maybe modify this. Let's modify how many pages we've got. Let's do about four pages just so that we can actually fit a few more in here. And let's maybe add three responses. And let us test some of these out. So I'm going to create the other response first. We're going to make this number two, which will actually be the third response. And we're going to say, uh, hi, my name is. And then we're going to use name underscore char. Um, and this will pretty much say, hi, my name is whatever your character name is. OK. And let us do test response. We can leave that one there. Let us do response. Let's make it uh, bold, actually. And just in case you guys were wondering, uh, this stuff is really similar to HTML coding. Um, if you've ever done that, uh, this sort of syntax is used in HTML as well. All right, so we are also going to make four pages of uh, text here that the, the NPC would initially create. So let us create these here as well. We're going to need to make this uh, two and three. And we'll change some of this stuff. Um, basic random text and let us make basic uh, italicized just for testing purposes and yeah we'll, we'll test that out uh, we can actually leave this one uh, the same here and let's just add a color to it um, let's do color equals and let's use one of the pre-made ones let's do epic let's do epic color right here and we shall what what kind of text should we put in here uh, let's say you are awesome and we're gonna make that a nice color as well okay so we've got the color there uh, let's put a pause here as well and as you guys will find out that'll essentially just uh, take some time when typing this stuff out and let us put a break right here a line break and that'll essentially make this sort of text on another line down Okay, uh, we've got almost everything here. Let's do name NPC. Let's do, by the way, so that's going to be the text for our fourth one, and we're going to have uh, name underscore NPC here. Let's also put a break line and then do how are you pause and let's just add a few of them together here um, let's do color and let's actually put our own hexadecimal color in here see if it actually works I'm not sure I've not chosen or tested this out yet so let's use uh, 333 CCC 33 or whatever whatever that number is and let us do this as well. I'm pretty sure that's required. And then uh, test color green is what we're going to put in there as well. And hopefully that should show up as being a nice green color. All right, so this is pretty much it. Um, let us test some of this stuff out. And guys, I'm going to leave this here uh, just in case you didn't remember from the very first video. If we do the first uh, two forward slashes, that it's actually a comment. I would definitely uh, add those in there just to explain what you're doing so if other people find your files they can actually maybe learn from them as well. So double slash is a comment so none of this stuff is actually going to affect the dialogue that will be happening. Alright so let's jump into the test world and let's test this out. Alright guys so here we are in the test world once again uh, ready to test out uh, all this new dialogue that we've created and let us begin. All right, so straight away, as you guys can see, uh, multiple pages is still working, and the break here definitely worked. Um, we can actually follow along right here. We've just got a break right there. Okay, so let us move on to the next page. Uh, we've got basic random text. Uh, basic random text is here. We also italicized basic, and as you guys can sort of see, it is still italicized there. So let's move on to the next page. We should start getting into some colors here. Alright, so as you guys can see, the color Epic is actually a nice purple here. And as you saw when it displayed, uh, there was a little bit of a delay between test and you are awesome. So as you guys can see, we've got a pause here. We actually saw that and the color definitely went through. Last page and let's see. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff happening here. We've got uh, Chester. Chester is not actually typed here. We use the name underscore NPC to do that. 
Now, um, as you guys may remember, um, the name of the NPC is actually defined inside the characters. So let's go back and look at that really quickly. We actually have the assets up here, but it's actually also dis uh, defined under English.dat. So as you can see, character Chester. That's where we got the name Chester from, and that worked fantastically. We had another breakdown as well. Um, as you guys can see, I'm having a little bit of issues with my spacing with this. Um, I would suggest right before break, don't leave a space. So it'd actually be a little better to, to snug that up. It's too late now, though. It doesn't really matter. Um, but as you guys can see, the break did work. Also, we have test color green, obviously a little bit of a spelling typo there. And that actually worked. So you guys can, in fact, use your own hexadecimal colors here. I would definitely take uh, advantage of that. And, you know, it's just a fantastic way to, uh, you know, get some custom stuff in there. Now, one thing that didn't look like it worked is uh, the bold here. So as you guys can see, uh, there's the B right there. Apparently, it doesn't work. Um, I thought it might just because uh, it was something that was also added in um, HTML coding, but I didn't actually find any uh, references to that out of all the other NPCs dialogue. So uh, apparently that one doesn't work. Also, one other thing here, hi, my name is Nay the Gray. That is actually my current character's name. So as you guys can see, uh, name underscore char, that definitely works as well. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it uh, for this tutorial. Hopefully that gives you a good idea of how to set up a basic dialogue. I haven't gotten into any of the quests yet, or any of the vendors, or any of the conditions, anything like that. That is all for different videos. Um, hopefully you guys will stick with me through there, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. So anyway guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all in